What's up, YouTube? So before we get started with this video, on first day, they're going to be talking about who's the best player in the Eastern Conference, Joel Embiid or Giannis Antetokounmpo. So let's see what they have to say about that. Can Embiid be the best player in the East? Joel Embiid could be the best player in the East. Will he be? No, because there's Giannis. Now, you heard it in the post-game conference. Joel Embiid is pacing himself. He got his heart broken in the playoffs last season, and from, there, from then on, he said, guess what? I want to be available and at 100% in the playoffs. Now, we got a treat on Christmas Day where he balled out, but I think Joel Embiid has the long-term vision. Now, someone not pacing themselves is Giannis. Giannis has an entire team tailored to his needs. It's Giannis. Yeah, that's because Giannis is, he's on a whole nother type of level. So he locked down the MVP last year. He's looking to get it this year. And not only that, that man's looking for a ring. Giannis is on a mission. Giannis and a whole bunch of floor spacers. Giannis and a whole bunch of snipers. This entire Bucks squad makes Giannis be able to reach his full potential. 13 guys on the Bucks average double digit minutes. If you think about the 76ers, they struggle with space. That's largely because their other all-star, Ben Simmons, sort of struggles with his perimeter shot. We always count how many threes he makes. And so, and so, so Ben Simmons isn't struggling with the shot because he's not taking any shots. And so forth. Now, the Sixers, they've been shooting the ball where they're coming off of a 21 threes in a game, you know, tying the franchise record. Yes, things are looking optimistically. But the thing is, Giannis has that bread and butter of having teammates, which allows him to reach his maximum potential offensively. Joel Embiid, they sometimes struggle being able to allow him to dominate the paint. And that's because of the lack of outside shooting. So as great as Embiid wants to be, he's cool. He's fine with just being dominant, maybe defensive player of the year. Come playoff is where he wants to make some noise. And they treated Christmas Day like a playoff game. But Giannis, he is not pacing himself. And so far with his team, the Bucks surrounding him with a strong supporting cast, that allows him to be the best player. So uh, Joel Embiid has all the potential in the world to be the best man in the league, if not the uh, Eastern Conference. Although uh, Gasol for the Toronto Raptors might have something to say about that. But, you know, say Joel Embiid should have, there should be no reason why he's not dominating in the paint. And as far as uh, between him and Giannis, I have to go with Giannis because Giannis is pretty much doing it by himself. Joel Embiid has Ben Simmons with him. So, I mean, Drew, Giannis is absolutely cleaning the house with everybody. I know they just lost to the Philadelphia 76ers, but again, Giannis is doing it by himself he's taking care of business he's on a mission Joel Embiid has been Simmons with him and he's not always showing the best of effort and and consistency so I'd have to go with Giannis so let's continue well Janae I I agree and disagree uh he can be if he plays the way that he played yesterday okay because I played with a guy by the name of Shaquille O'Neal and no he's not the dominant player Shaquille O'Neal is but when he gets the ball on the block, he can dominate anybody in the Eastern Conference. And his skill level is to where he can step out and shoot the three-pointer uh, as well. So if he comes and plays the way that he did yesterday with the enthusiasm and, you know, something to prove, because definitely, he definitely had something to prove playing Giannis in the Bucks yesterday, that he could definitely be the best player in the Eastern Conference. Now, will he do it? We don't know that because his consistency has been up and down. He might score 32 points one game. He might have a game in Toronto where he doesn't score any points. So uh, Giannis is, is bringing it every night, uh, night in and night out. He, he's, he's coming with the effort, the energy, and all that. So, But I think if Embiid plays with the intensity and the effort uh, that he played with yesterday, he has the ability to be the best player in the Eastern Conference. So, I, again, at this point, I'm going to have to go with Giannis being the best player. But there's a couple other guys there that I don't want to sleep on that play in the Eastern Conference. So let's go through a rundown of the top five teams. So it goes the Bucks, uh, Boston, Miami, Toronto, and the 76ers. So obviously, let's run through some of the players that these guys, these teams have. So obviously, the Bucks have uh, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's definitely putting the work. He's my front runner for MVP. He's killing everybody. Then you have the uh, Boston Celtics. You have, what, Kimball Walker, Jason Tatum. Two of those guys are leading uh, the number uh, two spot team. And then you have Miami in the three spot uh, with Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler's been absolute cleaning house, and he's pretty much been doing it by himself. Um, so in the fourth spot, you have the Toronto Raptors. 
you know, those guys have Pascal Siakam, Lowry, Van Vliet, and Paul Gasol, which he, he could be one of the most dominant big men uh, in the league right now, if not the uh, Eastern Conference. And then at the, at the fifth spot, you have Philadelphia 76ers. So you have Jarrell Embiid and Ben Simmons. So there's a lot of guys throughout the top five teams that could, you know, jump uh, uh, to the top of the pack. But I, as uh, let me slow down, slow, let me slow down, I'm stuttering. Uh, but at this point, I have to go with Giannis as being the most dominant player in the Eastern Conference because he's doing it by himself and he's just killing it. So let's continue. I definitely think he can be the best player in the Eastern Conference. I think, you know, when the physical gifts match the, the mental approach that he had yesterday, yeah, that combination, he's absolutely the best player in, in the Eastern Conference. And I think the thing that jumped out to me was in the, in the post game. Uh, when he talked about how he wanted to be the defensive player of the year. To me, that says something. It's one thing. We all know the physical gifts and the things that he can do from an offensive, you know, just offensively what he can do. But when you talk about being the defensive player of the year, the grunt work, the dirty work, the things that you got to do, having taken upon yourself to say, you know what? I'm going to guard Giannis. Who right now is the MVP? Of the, if we if we had to choose a person, he's the MVP of the league. Yeah. And to shut him down, to frustrate him, if Embiid puts that type of energy into being the defensive player of the year, combine that with the skills that he already has as an offensive player. I mean, you're talking about a guy who's seven one, that just flawless footwork can go out on the three point line and hit threes, probably better than Giannis can. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know, definitely. better than Giannis can. Definitely. So if he bring it, if he's bringing that mentality of saying, you know what, on the defensive end, that's where I really want to step up and, and affect the game. If he does that, then there's no question in my mind that he's absolutely the best well, player we're, we're, in the Eastern. So I don't know about that. I'm happy that Jerome Bede has goals and he's he's saying what he wants to do. But at this point, he's been in the league long enough. I don't want to hear it. All right? I don't want you just do it. Just do it. It's the same thing with James Harden and Russell Westbrook. Those guys talk, and everybody knows that they're good during the regular season, but I don't want to hear it. Just do it. Just play and win. Get to the playoffs, play and win. I don't want to hear it. Everybody knows how good you are. I don't want to hear about your goals or whatever. Just do it, because at this point, that's all I want to see or hear. And as far as Joel Embiid being a defensive player of the year, I don't quite think so. I think that's probably going to go to somebody in the West, probably somebody in L.A., but it's good that he has goals. And again, to reinforce what I was saying, I definitely go with uh, uh, Giannis as being the number one player in the Eastern Conference because he's pretty much doing it by himself. They're dominating, and he's just killing it right now. So let's continue. Also underrating Giannis's defense. I know he kind of got exposed because they were absolutely disrespectful to his perimeter shot, even though he's having a strong, you know, year shooting the ball, the three ball. But what you guys are forgetting is that the supporting cast matters. Like, you cannot be hampered by your teammates. Your teammates need to empower you to play the best game, you're the best you're capable of playing. If you think about Giannis, he's surrounded by shooters, snipers, and there's so much spacing, and they play with pace. That plays to his strengths. If you think about George Hill shooting the ball, he's He's giving you the best three-point percentage in the NBA. If you think about Chris Middleton, he went five for nine yesterday, 31 points, five for nine from three. He has guys that know their roles. Even the one game that Giannis did not play, his supporting cast looked so good that, you know, I thought the Pelicans were going to beat him, but no, instead the Bucks were still able to get a win because they had the system. Now, does Philly have the system for Joel Embiid to maximize his potential? Not necessarily. Their best perimeter shooter at times is Al Horford or to Tobias Harris. Now, Tobias is earning all his money. He just came off like a 35-point game. But you know what Philly does? They have Ben Simmons bring up the ball and then get in a pick and roll with Tobias and they treat Tobias like the guard and Ben Simmons like the post. And guess what happens when Ben Simmons is a post? It infringes on Joel Embiid's space. He won't be able to be as productive and that's the struggle. I think one, pe one thing that people forget is it's so easy for this Philly team to galvanize and to really get up for Christmas Day and play. There are a lot of young, we're seeing young stars, you know, emerge, but there are a lot of young egos on Philly. Like Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons, they're sort of trying to edge out some territory. Who is the alpha, right? And it's easy to figure that all out on Christmas Day when everybody wants to win. I want to see that type of chemistry building. It's not necessarily Joel dominating each and every time. I want to see the Sixers' chemistry being built over the course of the season so that when Joel is pacing himself and gets to the playoffs, guess what? They can actually do something. They 
Yeah, you're right. But at the same time, so Jarrell Embiid, I think it's him. I don't think it's his supporting cast. I think it's him. It seems like he's kind of being lazy um, and lackadaisical with the way he's playing with what he's doing. He's not, you know, staying consistent. I think that has to do with him. And if he were to step up his game and be dominant and show strong consistency, then his, his supporting cast would be able to more better support him and feed him the rock. But at this point, I don't think Jerome B needs to worry about being the best player in the Eastern Conference. I think he just needs to worry about staying consistent, having good, consistent games. And if he can do that, then being the best player in the league or in the Eastern Conference or the best center in the league or in the Eastern Conference, uh, that'll come by itself. It'll, it'll, that'll take care of itself. But at this point, he needs to stay consistent. Everything else would take care of itself. So let's continue. We have a lot of questions still to be answered on the perimeter, and I think that hinders Joel Embiid compared to Giannis, who, man, they already know their system. Like, this is a team that just can walk out and win games. Now, I think that's why the Sixers' win was so impressive, but still, Giannis has all the pieces around him for him to continue to expand his game. We're just waiting for the Sixers to figure it out so that Joel Embiid can do the same. Shanae, you mentioned the Sixers, but Damon, I'll ask you, do you think the Sixers are the biggest threat to the Bucks in the East? Oh, of course. And you saw it uh, last night, and, and, and this is why I said Joe M.B. could be the best player in the Eastern Conference, is that they have the athleticism and they have the players to throw at Giannis where they could play one-on-one. -on -one. 